As you have seen in some previous videos, you can use the log run command to replay logs. And sometimes you can use the log run uh, on a very long file or you can actually make it loop uh, indefinitely. So let's say that you want to, you know, stop that. How do you kill that process? So you do this all the processes dash uppercase A and then you pipe that using the grep command and looking for those that have log run and then there's no one there. But I have some files so if I do cat for listing what what's inside a file for example all all UBA we can see that I'm actually in turn running all this shell script uh, let me actually just for completeness let me type one of them so you can see the actual log run command being executed in there right so if we run that one we're going to have a bunch of uh, uh, shell script being run and there are going to be multiple instances of uh, log run and if we now do the listing of all the processes extracting we grab the ones that have log run again upper arrow brings me the history so I can issue the same command and now we get all those instances of log run running you actually and you got to be very careful you do this on a CE system, don't mess around with this in a production system. And I'm going to kill, you know, the first one of that. You just put the process name. And now if we run it again, we had one fewer. If you want to have another shell script for replaying logs, for example, the best thing, let me actually list all of them with the slash L for looking at the access and T for having them sorted uh, in time. I can go into any one of, uh, of these, for example, and, and I can, the best thing is actually to copy the file. So you get all the file permissions uh, the same. So if I do CP for copy, yes, I am two, and again, tap auto completes and then my test dot sh. Then go into VI, and I made a short video on, on showing you how to use VI, and you can modify this and replay whatever specific logs you have. If for any reason uh, you don't do it that way, you, you do VI from scratch, and the file doesn't have the, when you try to execute it, it complaints it doesn't have the right permission, what you do is you, you do uh, change mode, changing the access mode of the file, uh, plus X for executable and then put uh, the name of the file for example this one and that the file is they already had the executable flag in it but this this will put it anyway what if you are looking for a specific file well you can use the find command specify the directory that you want to look from which directory you want to look upon then the option dash name is looking for a file which name is petya.sh and it finds it there. If what you are looking for is a file that contains a particular string, you do like this. You use the grep command, then you specify what is it that you are looking for, and then the path. And here I'm saying in the demo script directory, look for every file that is in there that has the word Samba in it. And then you get that the WannaCry of the Sage, which replay the the IOCs for WannaCry, is the one that has that uh, word in it, and you see it uh, right here. If you have two files, let's say that they are very long files, and you want to compare them both, for example, I basically modify the TCP replay SSH of the SSH in and copy the TCP replay HTTP but imagine that these are long files and you want to actually see the difference between the two you use the diff command and then that tells you what is different between those two files now I'm in the log directory of Curator I, I PWD print work 
print working directory says that I'm in var log and if I want to see the last 10 li lines of the curator.error or just curator.log I just type tail curator.log and that gives me the last 10 lines the last thing that happened in it and returns control to me if I issue the same command with tail dash f then it's actually gonna stay there and as you see it's changing because as new things are being logged then they are displayed in it so it's an interactive way of actually seeing what is what is happening there control c will get me out of there